Scorpio, Scorpio, what is going on, baby? It is Scorpion Red Tarot. I am back at it again. One time for the one time for the remix. Yes, indeed. To let you guys know what is going on for mid-month May. The 15th through the 31st, what is going on? Have you guys been behaving? Oh, behave, my dears. Mm, I'm almost scared. What you guys been into? Huh? What you guys been into? Should I be scared? Slightly? Okay. Anyway, thank you guys so much for clicking this video. Thank you so much to all my new subscribers, everyone that has been sending love and light to my page, everyone who's been commenting, everyone that's just been coming through and just like, you damn right, Reds. We ain't going for it. We ain't going for it. I seen y'all in the comments. What's up, bro? All right, listen. Listen to me. All right? Alright, so if there's anyone who would like to book a personal and private reading with Scorpion Reds Tarot, you can do so by clicking that About tab, alright? First thing you need to do is book and then link, okay? Book and then link. So click that booking tab, that, that booking link that says Scorpion Reds Tarot at Simply Book Me. Go ahead and click that. Select the type of reading that you want and then link up with me on either Google Hangouts by using my email which is scorpionreds at gmail.com or clicking that Instagram link right under the book and send me a message just say, hey Reds, I booked with you on this and that today. If I can slide you in early, I'm going to get you on in there, okay? And otherwise, we're going to link up on that day and time and we're going to get it cracking, all right? Um, if you would like to have a recap of the video, there is an option in the menu for an add-on. It's called all um, video recap um, slash private upload you can use that if you want me to record our session and upload it to YouTube so you can have a private link so you can watch it back and you can have you know recording of the session and you can use that if you don't want to get on camera and if you just want to send me your question and just have me automatically you know record the reading just like I'm doing right now and upload it to YouTube and then you can just watch it at your own leisure. Just be aware that when you um, have a private upload, we won't be able to interact like we would on a private reading, on a private face-to-face -face video reading. But, um, it, you know, it definitely works, especially for my international, um, for my people that are international. So, shout out to all my international um followers and subscribers. Much love to all of you guys. So, just keep in mind... If you do choose the direct upload option, only send me the question that you want to know. Don't tell me this situation pertaining while you're answering, they're asking the question because I don't want you to say, well, I already told you that. You see what I'm saying? So, book the link, send me a message with your question, and then I'm going to record the video and I'm going to send it to you, okay? And, you know, we'll be good from there. So, if you would like to send some support to the page, I want to give a shout out to my baby. Kelly, okay, she sent through the Amazon wish list this deck here, which is the numerology deck, which is going to give us our spirit number for today, all right? So, shout out to my baby Kelly. And just another thing, um, I did a personal reading with her, and that is my boo thing. That is my boo. She did us a big solid to all my Game of Thrones fans. She ordered the freaking Game of Thrones tarot card deck, mother sucker. Y'all know, okay? Y'all know. Y'all already know how, how emotional I be getting about Game of Thrones. I don't know if y'all watch my morning slide and if y'all be watching my other videos, my other content and stuff. But y'all know I love me some Game of Thrones. I cannot wait to see Miss Cersei and Arya on here. Y'all just know I'm going to be too lit. Thank you so much. So when y'all see that deck, Roll out. Y'all make sure that y'all said just period. Just period. Because we are using this numerology deck. And that is thanks to my baby, Callie. Thank you so much to everyone who's been sending love and light and just support to the page. Because of y'all that reading that y'all love so much. The tea. The tea. Y'all made it possible for the tea. So everybody that has sent a dollar, two dollar, three. It don't matter to that PayPal. That love and, and that respect goes out to y'all. Y'all made that tea possible. Y'all made a lot of this stuff possible. Because I didn't... I, when I first started doing this, I had three decks. You know what I'm saying? So, I thank you guys. I thank you guys so much for how much that you guys have been supporting me and just showing love. And if you want to show continuous support and love, if there's a specific deck that you want to see on this table and you want to, you know what I'm saying, just send some love, like... Uh, I just, I don't know, my heart, like, that shit just be making me want to cry. Just thank you guys, um, 
information is in the um, description for my Amazon wish list and for my PayPal. It's in the description in the um, about tab. And again, thank you guys so much for even just clicking this video and giving me the chance to provide help to you guys and allowing God to use me as a resource, you know, to give his word and give you guys inspiration and love and light. So I appreciate you guys so, so very much. And you know, I am a Scorpio, so I've been needing this message as well. And I just want to just let you guys know just humbly how much I love and I appreciate y'all. So thank you so, so very much. Thank you so, so very much. Let's get into the reading. Father God, thank you so, so much for all the love and the light and it. father we've been going through major transitions and I, listen i don't know about no other other scorpio but i feel collectively i know personally for myself but i definitely feel collectively we can like pat ourselves on the back we have really come through major obstacles i feel like we got through something that because god you know our hearts you know how much we love you know how we can be emotional sometimes. A lot of people think we all hard and tough and stuff. And we are. But we have feelings too. And I don't know why people think that Scorpio don't have feelings. And they can just do whatever the heck they want to do. And we could just, just take it. And just let it roll off our back. Like water on a duck's back. No we have feelings. You know what I'm saying. And sometimes when we go through these cycles. And Lord knows we about to have this full moon and Scorpio. And all the stuff like that. So you know we going through a lot of emotions. And we purging. And you know we finding out what our triggers are and dealing with that because we tired we don't want to be triggered by that bull crap no more like we want to be completely healed and moved on and just a phoenix birth renewed like soaring through the air on these people like what's like father god and like we have overcome so many obstacles. We are so proud of ourselves, Father God. And we thank you so much for enriching our life, for moving through us, for just showing us our own power and our gifts. And just how, if we just use our energy in the right way, we can literally bring forth to life anything that we have in our imagination, anything in our thoughts, our hopes, our dreams. And you've been showing that to us, Father God. And thank you so much for moving through us. Thank you for being with us and just never giving up on us father god and just being our truest and best and most closest friend father continue to give us guidance continue to show us how to walk forward towards our footsteps towards greatness and use our tools wisely please give us guidance for the sign of scorpio for mid-month may 15 through the 31st and thank you so much for all the blessings and the lessons that you've given us in the past present and future please continue to hold our hand and bless us abundantly father god please give us guidance for scorpio all right come on now prayer all right let's find out what our spirit number is okay God, give me guidance for Scorpio. Nature. All right. So nature. Let's see what else we got. You have any other guidance for us? I'm to ooh, 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 ooh. That's a lot. But we're going to take it. That's a lot, but we're going to take it. All right, so off the rip nature so i feel like right now it's like we need to tap back into like our truest nature like what do we love what do we want to do who are we who is scorpio who are we in our truest form to our nature who are we you know i see new beginnings coming to us in the name of jesus all right you know respect like and, and, and truly um that purple, that's that crown chakra. Understanding you gotta deal and you gotta move past personal losses and, and just and just you just gotta heal. You know what I'm saying? So having some understanding to heal and just moving and just knowing where your heart lies, what you love, what is true to you, and understanding your true nature and nurture that and being grounded and knowing that this new beginning is coming that's is coming to you. And not only that, it says that you're going through a stage of completion. Like I said, understanding. Listen, there we go. There go that purple again. Understanding. Mentally, physically. Knowing truly that we're going through cycles. Completion. You know, it's like. 
being confident and just knowing and understanding all of the lessons that you learned. This is a new beginning. This is a completion of that cycle. I am nurturing my truest nature. And we have leadership here. You're taking leadership in regards to you getting grounded and getting rooted in this new beginning and understanding this new completed cycle of yours. And then I, I see right here in regards to your sacral chakra, it seems like music helps you feel. It helps you understand. It helps you actually do. It's something about music helps the very essence that is Scorpio. It helps motivate you. It helps that solar plexi chakra that's right in the middle. It helps you do in a, in a lot of energy and that action to to move forth to that sacral chakra and feel what it is. You know, I feel like you guys get up in the morning and you listen to music and based on what you're listening to, it helps you feel and do what it is that you are, you know, it's vibrating through your spirit every day. I feel like, you know, and a, and a lot of you guys are musicians. A lot of a lot of Scorpios are talented in many different ways. Honey, listen, I write music, I sing, I rap, um, I'm, I'm I cook. Shit, I'm a good ass woman. <laughs> I'm a reader, you know what I'm saying? I'm a damn good, like, in the office, like, secretary and shit like that and, and stuff. Like, I have so many different gifts, so many talents, and we just like a, like, we say a renaissance man and just something like that, you know? So what is this? I feel like some of us are hesitating before we move forward into our dreams, into our passions. Uh-huh. I feel like some of us are hesitating. We are hesitating and kind of making sure that, uh, what can I say? It's like, before you move forward, it's kind of, you know how Scorpios are. We want to survey the land. We want to make sure that we know exactly what we're doing, that everything is not going to fall through you know what i'm saying you want to make like we don't play to lose or play to you know how they say prepare for the worst that's not scorpio we prepare to win we don't never prepare for the worst like what the fuck type of ignorant ass bullshit is that you know what i'm saying like we'll rather wait and know exactly what we're going to and know that we're going to be successful and succeed and we'll sit there and research and research and study 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 and put all our passion and our energy into something before we move because when we move the next move is going to be the best motherfucking move and that's exactly what's going on right now you know you not moving until you know for a fact that what you're moving into it you can nurture it that you can be in your truest nature that you understand what you're getting into that you can grow and that it's going to be longevity there do you feel what i'm saying this is the chariot you are emotionally secure you know where your future is going. Um, and you're definitely moving forward. You're moving forward very confidently. And you know what you want in life. For sure. For sure. Only thing is, I feel like... For the Scorpio men, I feel like... You know what I mean? And just probably Scorpios in general. I feel like... But particularly for Scorpio men, I feel like... You guys might be going through a financial crisis at this moment. And it's like it doesn't diminish you in the fact that you're a king. I just feel like you're just going through, you know, like in life you got ups and downs. You're just going through a down period right now. But that's not stopping you from moving forward. You know what I'm saying? And I, I want to say that what you are looking for here is like a confirmation, like a message of confirmation that you got a new beginning elsewhere before you like really go forth on your travel. But it's just something in Scorpio. You know how impatient Scorpio can be like once we got our mindset on it, we're moving in it. We think things are better for us elsewhere and we're emotionally set on that. You already started moving. I don't even feel like I feel like. There was a slight de delay, but I feel like you're not letting your finances get in the way of you going to where your heart is telling you that you're destined to be. You know, look, the King of Swords is like, you know exactly, without a shadow of a doubt, not only do I know where my destiny lies, I know where my destiny lies, I know my worth. I'm clear on who I am and where I stand in this world and what my purpose is in this world. 
Um, but it's just it's like I feel like Scorpio not scared to go at it alone and like go on a journey of just like inner truth. I don't really feel like Scorpio right now needs anybody to like validate that they're king, to validate their principle. They don't need anyone's opinion on anything. They're the judge, they're the juror. If there's anything that they don't understand, they'll go out and they will research and they will figure it out themselves. You already know. And I feel like Scorpio, especially the Scorpio man. They're most definitely moving forward and they're finding a way about this financial situation. Because they're moving forward to new beginnings. Listen, they're, uh, whatever they were hint, hung up on, they're unhinging their self. They're like, I'm not going to sit here. And this could be, this could possibly be a man that because of their financial situation was dealing with a woman that maybe they possibly wasn't necessarily truly in love with like that like that but this woman was helping him throughout his financial situation and he's like you know I could keep myself hung up and suspended here because she's gonna continue to take care of me as long as I let her but at the same time that doesn't make me feel like a king so you know that might be a Scorpio man that walked away from somebody and it wasn't because you know it wasn't because of nothing that other than they needed to feel like a man and they don't want no woman to sitting up there taking care of them like that because they want to make better choices in their life and they definitely don't feel like their karma is going to be that good sitting up there laying up under a woman allowing a woman to take care of themselves when they could just move forward and they're like honestly I don't give a fuck if I gotta live in my car like I'll be alright you know what I'm saying like I'm a fucking man I'm a Scorpio I'm a fucking warrior you know what I'm saying I'm a warrior and this is most definitely a Scorpio male energy this is a dominant male energy and this could be a female being in a dominant male energy is because I am in my natural form I'm in my natural form I am I am Scorpio in every sense of the essence my new beginnings is coming. I done say ashes to ashes, dust to dust to that old shit. I done completed those cycles. I understand everything that I needed to do. I done learned. Listen, I'm a leader. I'm a leader. I'm a leader. I ain't never no follower. And I move to the sound of my own goddamn beat. I make my own music. I'm my own goddamn conductor. Do you get what I'm saying? Do you get it? It's just like Scorpio is just moving forward on whatever the fuck their heart desires or whatever their spirit is telling them to do. And it's like, you know, I'm not letting no money get in the way of that shit. Just because my money ain't what I need it to be right now. Don't make me any less of a king. Don't make me any less of a man. I'm about to unhang myself from bullshit. I don't need nobody sitting up here trying to take care of me and keep me in a state of lack. Even if I got to sleep in my car, even if I got to get out there and hustle, I'm going to get it through the mud and I'm going to do what the fuck I need to do. But I damn sure I'm not going to keep making the same dumb ass choices that I used to that kept me. You know what I'm saying? When you when you continue doing the same shit, you get the same shit. You can't continue doing the same shit except in different results. You know what I'm saying? This is too much. What is this? Ugh. Clean up time. Okay. All right. So what happened here? Be true to yourself. Like I say, be in your natural form. Nature. Be in your true nature. Be true to yourself, Scorpio. Like, even if people don't like it, you got to do what you got to do. You feel what I'm saying? Be true to yourself. And I feel like a lot of people might not like how you just... But it's like, you know, at the end of the day, like, y'all motherfuckers could be mad at me or not. But I did the best thing for me and you. Like, I did the best thing for me and you. I know that my destiny is moving forward. It's not stuck here. It's not stuck here. I can't continue to hang around doing the same shit I used to do, expecting this different results. I got to be true to myself. And being true to myself, I'm a motherfucker renegade. I'm a boss. You understand what I'm saying? The sea beacon fairy guidance, but where will it lead you? This is this card is basically telling you it's like you can call to the universe and ask for guidance, but where would it truly lead you? And it's based off of your intention, Scorpio. So you gotta be true to yourself. So like if the true intentions of yourself, Scorpio, honestly, is 
where your mindset is thinking of like preparing for the worst instead of we only play to win, we don't play to lose. If you prepare for the worst, this sea beacon fairy is basically telling you if you want me to take you to the other side of the shore to the new beginnings because you're preparing to win, I'm going to take you over there. But at the end of the day, if only thing you're mentally thinking about and being true to yourself is being pessimistic and being a negative thinker, I can also take you and I can guide you into damnation if that's all you're thinking about. You have to use your tools wisely. Do you understand? You have to use your tool wisely. So, and let me read that to you because I feel like I because I feel like I need to read that for you to truly understand thoughts or creations. Okay? So it says, all right, the sea beacon fairy. I do hold up the light, but only you can choose as to whether the direction I will lead you to is the right one for you at the time. I may be your salvation that I lead you to and it may be that I am gathering souls and I will perish upon rocks or drown in the cold seas. Yeah, it said it may be that I am gathering souls and that you will perish upon rocks or drown in the cold seas. Mm. It says, I know this is hard to hear. It is not a short thing, this advice and guidance that you have received. And for all its intents that it is, it comes from the light. The advice may not be what you needed to follow at this time. I understand that this may be confusing because I am confused. But I am assuring you mostly of one great truth that perhaps you must find your own way at this time. A perfect solution to a problem has been presented to you. But whether it is wise to take is it another thing altogether. You may have more resources and opportunities than you are aware of. Or that you are allowing yourself to believe in. Do not be too quick to follow the first opportunity that comes. Wait and check, and check both of your sources for inner wisdom. There are many paths and many solutions. Not all advice will be right for you. So like she said, like, it's truly upon your intentions and what you want. Like, she's here to guide you, but you got to be true to yourself and know what it is that you truly want. Because you can listen to other people and you don't know, like, shit, they might be emotionally corrupt and shit. And like she said, she might be on her day. She might be decided she want to gather motherfucking souls and shit. And you might get smashed upon some rocks and shit. She might lead you to your salvation. It depends. But you have to be true to yourself and like literally like know your intentions like that's that's truly what the message is that I'm getting because I feel like eight taken eight take away three that's five. Number five represents change, being adaptable, traveling, freedom, being quick with it. You know what I'm saying? Being able to quickly adapt to shit and just. You know, it don't matter what obstacle, whatever come to you, you know, like, listen, being daring, being brave, taking life by the balls and just being true to yourself and knowing your intentions and going off of your intuition and doing what the fuck is best to you. Like, even if even if other people say, well, you know, in your situation, a normal motherfucker would have did. Well, guess what? A Scorpio ain't a normal motherfucker. Let me be the one to tell you, a Scorpio ain't a normal motherfucker, okay? They'll come through at any point in time and decide it's cleanup time, and they'll get your ass the fuck up out of here. Do you understand what I'm saying? Do you get me? And this is and what this is telling you, Scorpio, right now, with this cleanup time and this burial and this fur of the divine hand, intoxication, disordered view, and overindulgence. For some Scorpios, it may be cleanup time because I feel like some people. Of realizing that they need to be true to themselves. You can't just take anybody's guidance because someone might be leading you to your salvation or they might be leading you to your um, damnation. So what you need to do is clean up yourself so that you won't have a distorted view because there might be some Scorpios that may be, you know, a little self-indulgent or might be having some self. Okay. I was about to say self-abuse issues. And yes, I am going to say self-abuse issues. Self-abuse meaning like you guys might be addicted literally to like a toxic relationship and 
it's like you having a distorted view where you really can't truly see what it is that you truly need to see about the situation because you're so intoxicated and you can't stop indulging it's like you're addicted and you know that scorpios can they say that scorpios have an addictive behavior pattern you know so it's like when we find something that we connect to and we in it nigga we in it you see what i'm saying like we in it and it's like sometimes you just might have to look at certain things about yourself and clean up certain elements of yourself so that your view can be crystal clear. Crystal clear, just like this young man up here. Crystal clear, and it's certain things that they had to do. It was certain cycles that they had to do and clean up so that they can be a leader and move to the own tune of their own beat and get to their true nature. Do you feel what I'm saying? The drinking, the smoking, the drugging, the partying, the, the um, being addicted to sex, the abusiveness. I do feel like there were some people that are trying to work through um, their rage. You know, rage. And I feel like right now, Scorpio is emotionally in control. They're balanced. And they are cleaning up certain elements of their self that they feel like are deterrence to keeping them moving forward into this new beginning most definitely the mildew fairy cleaning up mm -hmm. and the thing that they're cleaning up is having a fucked up view of things like really just looking at things with their heart and not you know because sometimes scorpio when we love somebody we can love someone unconditionally and some people don't deserve unconditional love you guys listen some motherfuckers don't deserve that they don't deserve Scorpio you know and it's just <laughs> listen to give me guidance Ooh. a message is coming Scorpio from a mature man alright a message is coming from a mature man give me guidance what is this saying a gift is going to be received, Scorpio. What is this? Ooh, of high honor. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it looks like you guys are going to receive a message, Scorpio, between the 15th through the 31st from someone who is now mature. And they want to give you a gift of high honor. That seems like... Like truly acknowledging you as like... The official one. True high honor. Giving you the respect that you deserve. The 21 gun salute. High honor. Promotion. Elevation. Alright. Give me additional guidance. Thank you so much. Ooh. It's going to be a, a journey. Between you guys. And I feel like. I feel like this person. That, this mature person. It's going through a journey. I feel like they're trying to figure out. Ooh. They're trying to figure out how to get back to the house. And imprisonment. But I feel like this is. They feel like they want to. I just heard that they want to be locked in. Like. Get, clarify imprisonment. Lovers. Yeah. Wait, clarify lovers. Just let me make sure I'm getting this correct. Clarify lovers and imprisonment. Is there any other guy? Oh, that's a lot. That's a lot. That's a that's a lot. It's a lot. Hold on. Toil and labor. Toil and labor. Main male concern. Concern. Sutton wealth wealthy man. Courtship. Well, I don't like the way that's coming out. I don't like the way that's coming out. Because it sounds like someone who thinks that they're going. That sounds like someone is about to try to use you, Scorpio. Because they, they, they concern about certain wealth and that they could become a wealthy man if they come and court you. Scorpio, watch this. Watch this person. So it says that you may receive a message, Scorpio. Okay? From a man that 
seems like they've matured now okay and they want to offer you a gift a gift of high honor so they may be acknowledging you as the one they may be i don't see any marriage on the on the table i don't see any marriage on the table at all i just see that they are coming through and putting you in a place of high honor in their life acknowledging you that you mean and you have a stature of high honor in their life and they're trying to find a way to journey towards you and they've been having thoughts because they want to find a way to get back in your place of residence they're trying to figure out and manifest a way how to journey and get back into this house with you Scorpio do you understand what I'm saying all right hmm. and then we got imprisonment this person is finally in a place I mean they're they're in a place right now where they feel confined and they feel in prison and it's possible that they're with another lover okay where they feel like they are experiencing toil and labor where they're working they feel imprisoned and trapped by a lover where they feel like they're being worked to death and the energy and the resources that they're putting into the situation is not necessarily benefiting them to their pleasing and they feel trapped and imprisoned in this situation here all right and they feel like they're experiencing toil and labor hard work it's hard work with this lover okay imprisonment then the toil and labor and then lover and then what came out there all right somewhere where they having to be the main male all right somewhere where they're having to be the main male and this main male where they're in this other lover situation is having concerns concerns here about sudden wealth sudden wealth that they think that they could possibly achieve with Scorpio and they think that if they they're thinking you know Sudden wealth might be coming to Scorpio, and if I come to Scorpio, I might end up being a wealthy man if I come and try to court Scorpio. Because this place where they're having to be the main man at is a lot of toil and labor and a lot of hard work. So they're concerned about how hard they're working, and they see a lot of great fortune coming into Scorpio, and they're like, hmm, by chance. It's possible I can be a very wealthy man if I go and I try to court Scorpio. So what does that sound like to me, Scorpio? That sounds like someone who is trying to come through and offer you and to tell you that they're putting you in a place of high stature in high honor. Because they're in a place of turmoil and they feel like that they could benefit from your hard work. How does that sound to y'all, Scorpio? That sound good to you? Does that sound good to you? Does it sound good to me, Scorpio? And don't seem like you're going to get a key to my house, beloved. Nope, nope, nope. See, you got to watch, motherfuckers. Because trust and believe, Scorpio, they are watching you. And they see that you're in these new beginnings. And they see that you're taking a place of leadership. And you're moving to the beat of your own drum. And they said, that motherfucking Scorpio, I should have never left them. This motherfucker's about to hit the jackpot. I should have waited. So what does that tell you, Scorpio? Did this person really hold you in a place of high honor the way that... They're trying to portray here by offering you this gift and trying to seem like, oh, I'm mature now. Excuse me. Mm hmm Does this really seem like someone that is truly offering a, a honest gift? No. It seems like there's a lot of conning and dis deceiving going on behind this. Oh, it's not connecting. Yeah, it's not connecting for Scorpio. That shit is not connecting for Scorpio. Oh, shit. The Seven of Swords. I knew that shit. The Nine of Wands. Scorpio is guided. And not only that, motherfucker, you done got caught trying to do this motherfucking game and this trick and bullshit, this con and ass bullshit before. Scorpio said, uh, Four of Coins, they're keeping their self held back and they holding tight onto that money. They ain't even dealing with you. 
They ain't even interested in you, the hermit. Uh-huh. They ain't even coming out to speak to you. So, um, I believe that that message might be returned to sender. Eight of Swords. Because it's like, I feel like Scorpio is in their own mental prison of their own personal wealth and success and just growth. And, like, they can't even see you. They can't even see you. Six of Cups. Like, only thing that they can truly see is... And two coins. Only thing that they can truly see is that you somebody from the past that was juggling them. And that's probably going to try to juggle them again. And, you know, I really, do, you know, I just feel like Scorpio feels like they're better off, you know, keeping themselves hidden and reserved and withdrawn from you. Because you're just going to put them back in a place of mental prison. And it's like, yeah, we have a history with each other, but... Like I like I'd rather be with someone that's more given to me. I'd rather be with someone that 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 is going to yeah. They, and they're over this. Like Scorpio is over that shit. Like that shit don't have no merit no more. Five of Wands. Like it's just going to be another fucking battle with you. And like Scorpio I already know your game. This shit is not like this is like old fucking news. Like this is like last year's tea. It's last year's tea. You can't come back to me and try to sell me last year's tea, bitch. Like, what the fuck you think I am? Like, you trying to give me fucking food poisoning or something? I don't even know if you can get last year's uh, food poisoning off of last year's tea, but I, I'm pretty sure shit might... No, this shit... No, this shit sound like it might got mold on the top or something. No. Which... Like, no. <laughs> Nine of Wands. Like, Scorpio is guarded. And they already know your motherfucking schemes and schemes and your manipulation. Scorpio's not going for that shit. They're not following for that shit. High honor, high honor of what? Nigga, you better honor yourself. Okay? Scorpio's keeping themselves. Look, they, they up in that tree. <laughs> look, look. They burnt all of that old bullshit. That shit is burning. They got the keys to their heart right here. The heart here. And then, the, the listen. That shit is locked and guarded in this tree, nigga. You don't even, like, the shit ain't even within them to give to you. You know what I'm saying? They're focused on their money and whatever money they got. You ain't even going, like, you're not getting nothing. You understand what I'm saying? Like, Scorpio is holding on to their foundation. They're not letting you on their foundation at all. Like, they're not letting you on their land at all. Okay? The hermit. They're locked inside their castle. You are not in, in loud in their land. Their yard has pit bulls in, in, a, in an electric gate. Like, no. You understand what I'm saying? Like, they're in a mental prison right now. Even just trying to still go through the process of releasing you. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's, that's the whole thing. It's like... Like, okay. Keep it 100. Keep it 100. And I'm going to keep it 100 with myself here. I ain't even going front like from time to time I don't still battle. I am not in a place with my ex where I give a fuck about my ex. But I can't say that I don't battle and I'm not human. And I don't battle and go back and forth. You know what I'm saying? And think about shit in the past. And the majority of the shit I'm thinking about is not good shit. It's just about how this motherfucker was and shit. And how much time that I wasted. And it's just that I really... You know, it's just like we... I've known this person for a long time. You see what I'm saying? Like, this is someone that y'all probably known each other since childhood. Y'all could have known each other since y'all was kids, since middle school, high school. You've known each other for a long time. And y'all could have been in a relationship with each other for a long time. So there is a lot of good memories there. You know what I'm saying? But there's a lot of bad memories there, too. And it's just because of the time spent. It's just hard to, like, release yourself from this mental prison. But you're not really... You're not really as trapped up and in a prison as how you think you are. It's easier to let go than you think it is. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, the thing about Scorpio is they know good and goddamn well that the only thing that they want to juggle in their life is things that are really going to have true value in their life. You know what I'm saying? Things that are going to benefit them in the long run. 
They don't want to get themselves in another situation where they're going to be having to compete and battle and deal with gossip and rumors and confusion and mischief. They're not going to do that. This person has no more room in their back for them to put a sword in it. This person has stabbed them in their back ten times over. And Scorpio is like mentally releasing that shit. And this is the end of... I really do feel like this might possibly be the last motherfucking reading that we even see any of this shit. And I honestly feel like the only reason why we seeing this shit is because this person is trying to come back and manipulate Scorpio and I feel like Scorpio you see where the fuck Scorpio is come on Scorpio is moving this person is trying to come and infiltrate and get into Scorpio's energy and trying to come back because they see Scorpio moving on and they see that Scorpio is prosperous and that Scorpio is abundant. And they are in a situation of toil and labor where they're having to be the main man at. Do you understand? And they think that coming over here is the best option for them financially. Okay, because they got to work too hard where they're at. But you got to understand, listen, we done already purged you out of our life and we surrendered to that process. Okay, you're the one that's stuck in a dry pussy ass situation. That's not our bag. So, like, please stop trying to. And you damn sure you think you coming back over here. And then, listen, listen. Listen to me. Listen to her. This person is in a place of grief. They're stuck and they're in a place of grief. Do you understand? Because they left us, Scorpio. We purged them. We surrendered to trying to wash this bullshit out of our life. Because this person chose a third party. Do you understand? And this person is still with that third party. And they're stuck. And they're in a place of misery and grief. And they're realizing what the fuck they left. And they think that they're going to come back here. And they're going to bring that fucking negative toxic ass energy. You're not going to bring your negative karma over here. Listen. Scorpio surrender to purging and cleansing our karma free of fuck shit. We surrendered to that process. Do you understand? We, we're not going to allow you to try to trickle your bullshit. Not when we've come this fucking far. You are, you stuck in a dry pussy ass situation. That don't have nothing to do with us. So stop infiltrating and trying to break your motherfucking dry pussy scab dick ass back in our motherfucking reading. Because you over there in grief with a third party. Because you chose bad choices in your life stop trying to use us as a muse to paint a perfect picture to your life because you don't have the balls to go out there and be your own motherfucking captain of your fucking ship and the master of your own destiny scorpio had to go out here and get it through the mud to paint our perfect picture and get our life finally where the fuck we wanted to be don't come over here because we finally got our life where we got it where we wanted to be and blessings is coming to us and god is blessing us god is blessing us because we got rid of your ass because we stop letting you disrespect our ass that's the reason why god is blessing us so if we allow you to come back into our life with this fucking mask on you think that we don't know that shit we already know that you we already see scorpion reds is telling you uh, your intention you just coming through this motherfucker because you think it's a come up you're not coming back to us because you really genuinely love us bitch get the fuck out of here you think that you're gonna come over here and you're gonna get the big dreams you understand because you see, we're getting to our big dreams. And you think that you're going to live vicariously through us. You can go suck a dick, which you're probably already doing. Okay? Rumor on the street is you already sucking dick. Okay? My, I heard you a little vicarious. You might need to get your life together and figure out your true life purpose. And stop trying to fucking use women as a come up. Because you can't go out there and get your motherfucking life together. Okay? Alright. So I'm reloading. How y'all like that? And I'm sorry. And yeah, I did go there. I don't give a fuck. Because how many di didn't, didn't last fucking month? Wasn't fucking, um, don't beard keep coming up in our fucking readings? Fuck that shit. I'm taking that shit as gospel. Fuck that shit. Hey, Mo, listen to me. Some of y'all be wondering why the fuck these <laughs> shit, hey, brother. Some of these niggas be down low for the low low. Okay? And they be using women as cover-ups to finance their life. And they're so miserable in their true form of their skin because they're battling with who the fuck they are. Some of these motherfuckers be living a lie. And they be using innocent women to, hey, bruh, 
Let me try to tell you something. The high priestess, the high priestess, we know every motherfucking thing. You can't hide nothing from no motherfucker Scorpio. So motherfuckers be thinking that they don't know they T. That shit came out in the T, didn't it, ladies? Didn't that shit? About motherfuckers fucking with, with someone of the same sex, that shit be coming out, bruh. You can't hide nothing over here. You, your lifestyle that you live is like something that we ain't never seen in our life. Somebody that, that they, their doctrine is to keep two bitches. What type of priest, what type of pope, what type of religion is that? No, you think we don't know about that shit? That's why we cut you the fuck out. We know our truth. We know exactly what we want. We don't want no... Unless you worship in the ground, we walk We walk on... We don't want you, bitch. We don't want you. So return to sender. You're motherfucking right. Please don't bring your ass the fuck over here because whatever the fuck you about to offer us will be rejected. Four cups. Okay? All right? You drink too much. You're boring. Like... That whole shit, like going through this bullshit, this back and forth, motherfuckers wearing a mask, being fake. That shit is old and boring. We did that shit last year. We did that shit the year before last and the year before that. We ain't, that shit is old to us. That shit is old fucking news. We going to a different motherfucking tune, bitch. Like, try that shit again with another bitch. Like, we not even for that shit. Not no, look, shit. Not today. So, if you thought you was about to come over here and play and run some game trying to get back up in the house thinking you about to come into some fame and fortune and some money off of Scorpio back, guess what? They done came on the right reader today. I'm snitching. Snitches get stitches. Guess what? We're protected. We're protected. So if you've been seeing feathers flying around, you protected. This motherfucker's trying to get you goddamn tied up in that motherfucking spider web that they weaving, bitch. We ain't motherfucking. We ain't for it. We is not for it. You better explore it. Listen. The door. We have transitioned. We've opened different doors in our life. We don't even know you no more. Listen. We don't owe you, and we don't know you. We don't owe you nothing, and we don't owe you nothing. Pink, okay? Love, caring, and compassion. And that was in the reverse. So ain't going to be no love, caring, and compassion emotions coming over here. But we are very loving and caring and compassion into our new beginnings, into this new transition. You motherfucking right we are. We've been seeing orbs of life in the spirit realm. And they've been telling us, grab your knife, bitch, because this motherfucker is trying to creep back. Y'all know it. Y'all already know. I, I know that y'all been feeling this motherfucking fuck ass energy. Y'all been because I know I've been feeling it. Y'all been feeling it. I've been feeling it. Fuck this shit. What do these people think they doing? Who they think they dealing with? Who they think they talking to? Now when Scorpio is in their true nature. Oh, what? And that Scorpio moon coming up? Oh, anything that you even thought that you was about to try to hide? Oh no, what? We done put the barrier up. A lot of people done did some, look, just said, Father God, I, done, I banished this person's energy from even being around me. I'm focused on my coin. I'm focused on my future success. This person has no point of, listen, mutes. Y'all have muted these people. Y'all have blocked these motherfuckers mentally, emotionally, and spiritually, and physically, okay? And the answer is yes, they did. So if you want to know, this, uh, Scorpio, do some type of soul cut and tie type of bullshit. Yes, we did. But we ain't going to call nobody, do no bullshit, no hocus pocus. We talk to God. God, please cut this goddamn soul connection. I don't want this motherfucker in my dreams. I don't want this motherfucker to be able to message me. I don't want this motherfucker to be able to tap into my energy. Banish this bitch from being able to be in my fucking readings. We talking about new pro progress and stuff like that. Um, we don't even, we don't have it to do anymore. We we focused on our family. We focused on our family, and this motherfucker don't have nothing to do with our goddamn family. So we over it. We're over it. Okay, and you need to get over it too. Okay, pish tosh, honey. Listen, I just made me a brand new purification and mother. <laughs> I just made me a brand new purification and cleansing goddamn spray today. Okay, y'all, but listen, and I will be having my products out very soon. Listen, and any of y'all be needing love and light in the morning, I got my good um Oshun spray, baby. Walk around smelling like a whole motherfucking offering basket. Y'all better get your... And I got a rose spray. A rose water spray. It's coming very soon. Okay?
Spray that shit in your, I spray it in my hair. Anytime I be having thoughts and my mind be going back to the shit of my ex, it ain't you, baby. It's that motherfucker trying to weave their way back into your mental, your thoughts and all of that shit. No, 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 no. We ain't doing it. Honey, I take this goddamn purification spray. I spray that shit. Listen, I'm talking about down to the, look, I got tiger, tiger eye. Clear course in there, baby. I got goddamn. Listen, you and I don't even need to tell you how everything I got. Just know that motherfucker. I spray that shit all around my temple, my hair, your hair follicles, uh, coming from your brain. Your that is the closest thing to your brain, honey. Do you get me? I be spraying that shit all in my motherfucking hair to purify my head, my thoughts and stuff like that. Please get this fuck shit out my head. No, no. Anytime my mind be trying to venture back, well, you know, I do love this person. I wish to know. No, I don't wish a motherfucker thing. That bitch nigga's where he need to be. And that motherfucker don't got nothing to do with me. And a lot of it, listen, I don't know about you and I'm talking about me because this, this, this energy is connecting with me very much so because I am a Scorpio and I just got triggered by that because I know very much so me personally I am going towards look above and beyond like um tour stories what with the with the with the dude above and beyond whatever the fuck that shit said I'm moving above and beyond so listen it listen this is judgment this is judgment so listen Whatever the fuck you thought that you was about to come here and do, you see how that sword is in the ground and that goddamn plate or whatever the fuck that shit is broken, that shit is like, <laughs> that shit has been rejected and slammed to the ground. Uh-uh, no. No, we have to honor ourselves and our truth and our truth and our knowledge and our insight. And that will be a very unbalanced decision to do that. What is this? We are selling on. We are not thinking about y'all. We have been getting help moving on in our transition. And there's someone that has been helping Scorpio that's been allowing Scorpio to rest while we are healing and getting our mind clear. And you see that she has that cup. She's about to offer that cup to that man that's been pushing her in that boat. Scorpio, whatever this man, whoever this man is, or Scorpio man, whoever this woman is, who's been helping, nurturing you and helping you getting your thoughts and your healing and stuff together and has been allowing you to rest. And it could even be God. You you might be offering your cup to God. You understand? But you're moving forward and you're getting help and assistance by somebody. And if you have been getting help and assistance by someone of the opposite sex, it is very much so that you're possibly going to be end up offering your love to this person. Do you understand me? Because this person has helped you. Now, this, this, you were out in the cold, Scorpio. This person locked you out. They didn't care if you were in good health. They didn't care if you were in good wealth. They didn't care if you needed anything. They left you with your bills fucked up. They didn't give a fuck if you was about to get it big. They didn't care. But this person cared. This person cared. This person has been helping you along the way. And like I said, majority, for the majority of the people is God. And God said, you know what? Let me show you something. You right outside my window, baby. You right outside the church window. You don't got to beg and ball and ask nobody for shit. I got you, boo. Guess what? Because them motherfuckers going to have to answer for everything that they can listen. This is justice. This was judgment. Okay? You say, God, I know that this is a right this. This is not the right decision for me. I'm throwing my sword down. I'm breaking that foundation. Whatever you was holding in that cup, you broke it. Because you say this is not within my nature. Help me move forward. This person left me out in the cold. I ain't know how I was going to make it, but I did. And the Lord said, you know what? Don't worry. Justice is coming. All will answer for everything that was done. And trust me, I got you, baby. You called me. I'm here. I'm here. You think I'm going to let this motherfucker come and take advantage of you? I think not. Because guess what? You were smart enough to remove yourself from that situation. And you seen the damage that this motherfucker did to someone else. You see someone else laying there that was fucking with that motherfucker that's laying there looking like dead meat right now, don't you? And you sitting there looking at him. Look at you, bitch. Ha, 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 ha. Who is that laying there on the floor? It ain't you, Scorpio. Look at you sitting there looking at them. 
Look at you, look at you, and look at you. You done destroyed yourself trying to destroy me. And now you trying to come back because you over there in toil and labor. You over there broken, distorted, and disfigured looking for help and rescue and savior. Won't be me, bitch. You don't have no space in my mind. Guess what? I'm sitting over this motherfucker smugged in a bitch. Looking over all of the resources that has been given to me throughout this process. And I don't want to give a motherfucking cent to you. You motherfucking right. I run this whole bitch. I decide what come and go throughout this motherfucker. You get me? So you look at my face. You, you looking at me, bitch. You see me? Do it look like I am the one to fuck with and I feel like giving you anything and allowing you in my fortress, in my town. Everything that I worked hard for, bitch, you won't even be able to put your foot on a piece of gravel around this bitch. You better turn around and go back to your toil and labor that you so willingly decided to go to. Look at you, look at you, and look at you. The sun is setting. You better run along home, Tink Tink. I don't know what you want me to do for you, but I can't help you. I don't think about you. Not at all, Tink Tink. You better run along here. You better go um, build another spider web for another motherfucker because I'm too smart for you. I ain't dumb and naive no more, bitch. You better go find some easy prey, bitch, because you'll get captured and devoured fucking around over here, bitch. We'll see you. Scorpio, we're out of here, okay? We're reloading, bitch. Because guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Mute, bitch. You're cut. We're followed by spirit. The answer is yes. The answer is yes. We're focusing on our. We're focused on our family. Uh, oh yeah, we're getting to all of the big dreams and the big money, honey. You already know it. But we got a barrier up. Good luck crossing it. Watch out for the pit bulls and the motherfucking electrical fence, bitch. Bye.